All right, so this is another arena run that's kind of showing off the power of the octopus. I'm starting to think that the octo is actually just extremely good, and I've been really underrating it this whole time. But uh, the octo does three damage to two random enemies before it attacks. It deals nine on level up. You put a tiger behind that, you could potentially deal 18 damage twice for 36 damage before every attack. And if you have like a melon or a pepper, you might be able to double that and get two procs off, and that's just... Kind of insane damage, and we're taking it one step farther in this uh, arena run, and we're adding the microbe into it. So the microbe inflicts weakness to everything, so uh, in order to counter that on my own team, I go with the turtle, and then it's going to be dealing, well, just a whole bunch of extra damage, and it's kind of insane. As for this start, uh, just went for the tier 3 level ups, which are usually pretty good. Um, this is a custom pack, so I can pretty much just make it whatever I want, but... Uh, for the most part, I got Giraffe, which is a nice little scaler, and I got Capybara, Capybara which um, I'm a little bit unsure of how good it actually is. Don't have a ton of experience with it, but, you know, plus two, plus one for whatever's in your shop, uh, assuming you spend a roll, is not too bad. So, like, that Goldfish did not get buffed, but that's all right. Uh, three, four, Swan, yeah, sure, why not take that over the Iguana? I think the extra gold's probably better. And then just rolling for like another swan, another goldfish maybe. Also, I need a pill for this ant. And then decide that the swan's probably going to stick around for the longest. It's giving uh, the best, it's got the best ability, I think, for long term. And 11, 12, 11, 13 frill dragon. That's a tough team to beat. But that's all right. It actually did not matter. Uh, one of the reasons I decided to take goldfish and swan on that turn is because nine hearts same as seven hearts it is arena so i mean it's nice to get those early wins so you don't have to go super late game but also didn't really mind that loss also i think uh, snails in this pack so can try to get one of those all right double capybara which means i'm getting plus four plus two this also means that the tamarind is suddenly like super efficient i can buy sell this and get immediate plus three plus three that is like that's insane. That's a sushi for two gold. I mean, that's like as efficient as like a tier six, it kind of seems like. So just really worth it. Uh, when you get like the shop scaling involved in Tamarin, it actually just makes it such an incredible buy sell. Uh, go ahead and combine those. And then look at that. I have an 8-8 swan all of a sudden. And okay, can immediately just buff this giraffe, get it to a 5-6, which is pretty nice. And uh, since I know I'm going for Microbe, getting the level 2 turtle and keeping it unpilled is uh, what I want. And continuing to buff the swan, it's looking like a pretty strong team. Uh, I think like you can go Capybara Lobster as well. Really just get those like instant strong units out there. And it's pretty OP. It's just certainly a very good and solid strat. Alright, and there is Blobfish for a uh, level up. Um, I have a lot of level one and a halfs here, but I guess I can choose any of the four. What will I choose? Or will I wait till next turn? Because it's an awkward gold amount. I maybe could have just bought like a cheese on something there, but instead decided to roll and got a lobster. So yeah, now I could go level two capybara, get a uh, plus four, plus two, and then plus two, plus three for a total of what? Plus uh, six, plus five just instantly some pretty strong units and i'm not even losing these rounds so it's just looking really good plus cans all right so i know the turtle's gonna stick around so uh i was thinking i would pill the blobfish onto it but i can probably go for level three to be honest and pill the blobfish anyway or i could wait till next turn and get a tier six by pilling it onto like the swan or something which i guess is what i decided to do here and took another can so yeah the immediate plus six plus five onto things that already have plus four plus two you can see how you just instantly get like tier fives and tier sixes which already just have generally higher stats to suddenly be very strong and way ahead of the curve compared to the regular uh teams in arena okay deciding to not bother with the early tier six because i saw a microbe in the shop which is pretty much exactly what i wanted uh i don't they, i guess that lobster buff did matter slight buff there uh reindeer actually works with the microbe as well that's a very solid unit to have because it immediately gains its melon back but i already have level two turtle and here 
I have a weird spot because I want to keep the lobster just for the buffs uh, to the whatever I buy. But I also would like to buy this cow. And it is a 14-13, which is just surprisingly strong. And the only thing that I know is going to stick around is the microbe and the turtle. So I'll go ahead and buff the turtle. I think it makes sense. And actually the microbe, yeah, interestingly enough, since I bought another can, also will get plus two, plus three from the lobster. It might be worth it to go for level one and a half uh, microbe here. Not going to go for level two, but level one and a half microbe. That's a that's a weird achievement to go for. Like the some of the level three pets are just like the achievements are such memes to go for, and I level three micro is definitely one of those. Just no reason to go for it whatsoever. And uh, okay, is this any better? I no, that didn't buff anything. But there we go, level three turtles, pretty nice. And debating whether to take this microbe, I could run double micro per turn. Why not? Or uh, take the Orca. Anything with that spawns when you have the micro build is usually a pretty nice advantage. But I can't put the micro there because then it would just replace all the melon with the weakness. So I just put it in the back. And that should be okay. Looks like they got a pretty big pill bug. And a, also a crab. Don't see a ton of crabs. Um, still managed to win though. So that's pretty nice. I still have five rounds to go as well. I haven't actually seen the octo yet. But that's the great news about losing those early rounds, is it just means I can go even later into Arena. There's Alpaca, which means if I can get this level 2 Alpaca, just instantly able to pivot into good things. And there is the Octo, so finally able to get what I want. I can take the Lobster, and I guess uh, I'm thinking I'll try to get level 2 Lobster or something like that, and then I can put the Octo in. Although that does seem a little bit greedy. Okay, there's another lobster. I mean, how many things can I really put in? I can sell the capybara. It's actually, it's stuck on my team for a really long time. Um, and then I, I guess I have two level one and a half lobsters, or I could just chocolate the lobster, or I could chocolate the alpaca and really just try to go for the level two alpaca. That would be very helpful. Looks like they have a fly, but not a problem, so... Microbe is really just, uh, just, Microbe Turtle is good. It's, I mean, it's a classic strat that I'm sure a lot of people, when you first play like Pack 2, it is kind of one of those things that sticks out as just an instantly good strategy. And there we go. I got Alpaca off the level up and another Octo. So this is an interesting position because I have the Alpaca triggers, which means when I buy this Tamarin, it's instantly getting plus two, plus two, it becomes level two, and then the Lobster also gives it plus four, plus six. So for three gold, I'm getting plus 12, plus 14. Like what? That's insane to think about. Plus 12, plus 14 at this point in the game. Unfortunately, <laughs> I run into a Tiger Lynx team and it turns out that completely destroyed everything. So that is the problem with the team. It does lose to Snipes very badly, but that's okay. Uh, hopefully just don't run into any more of those. And it's another Octo! Just how many Octos can I get? That's crazy, man. Um, so there's two level twos. I could even wait till next turn, get another level two, go for like two level threes. But I think, yeah, I just decided to combine here, get the level three. And then I put a level one out there. I think I honestly just forgot that the alpaca triggers ran out and that was a little bit unfortunate. But I don't have the tiger, so I'm just going to be rolling for tiger here. Uh, I could also take cheese or steak on the microbe. That's probably the best option. Um, I actually, I don't know if steak's in this pack, so I should probably just take cheese. I could also take a pepper. It pretty much accomplishes the same thing. Um, just, I guess in some situations it doesn't. But here we go. We get to see the level 3 Octo in action with the weakness. And it deals 12 damage every shot. 24 damage every shot. And this is before it attacks. So if it kills something, uh, then it gets to go again. Which is kind of crazy. So yeah, uh, decide to sell the Octo there. Get an instant level 2 cow for plus 2 plus 4 twice. So plus 4 plus 8. Pretty solid. It might be worth it to just buy sell a zebra when I have this, uh, but I was really hard rolling for a tiger because I want, you know, the YouTube video. <laughs> As you can probably tell by how much gold I'm spending just rolling for a, 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 a tiger. Can't even speak. But yeah, zebra is a, uh, like when you get the alpaca trigger, it's only one gold and you get plus four, plus four twice. So you get plus eight, plus eight for one gold. Just saying some of these numbers out loud makes it seem kind of crazy how efficient it is. They had their own tiger and then what level two raccoon just steals my melon. 
that's not a counter I thought of. That was a pretty big uh, problem for me. But I'm just like now I'm on lethal and just one snipe team and it's all over. So I was I was pretty sad. I thought this was not going to be the run and I was going to have to do it over even though everything seemed like it set up so perfectly. I got the level 2 alpaca, I have the level 3 turtle, I have the microbe, level 3 octo. I just need a tiger. And man, it just it wasn't happening, was it? Again, it only costs 1 gold to buy sell something when you get the level 2. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing with the tamarin and get a solid 2220 octo. Uh, I was really hoping for a tiger on some of those level ups just hasn't happened which is just really sad for me um, but now I got double octo so why not um, you can see it in action it's able to kill the penguin and then able to kill the rams it's uh, it's beautiful to see they didn't even get to like attack very many times so even though my stats are pretty low at this point like a 12 9 microbe 13 14 uh, turtle just overall only one strong unit on the team but it doesn't matter just because the abilities are so good and there we go, there's level 2, so now we get to deal 9 damage and then another 6. But really, because everything's weakened, it's 12 and then 9, so that's 21, 42. 42 damage, and probably 82, because we have melon, and then you're not going to get one shot unless they have like a skunk or something. So just the numbers are pretty astonishing, and just amazing to see it in action right there. It only caused me a draw, because I got one shot through melon. Uh, from only having 20 health, but there we go. There's pepper on the microbe and I guess uh, the improvement here is to go for level 3 tiger. It doesn't seem too likely. I don't have a ton of rolls But I do find one more so only need one more chocolate But if I win this round, I'm also on lethal probably only gonna have two more rounds unless if I somehow squeak out a draw again So a really strong team high stats with lemon, but it doesn't even matter the hedgehog kills their own a member of their team and it's a win so pretty solid I could take peppers uh, or like garlic not garlic a melon or like one-ups or really anything just in case I run into a sniper team and sadly did not find level 3 tiger just so close to the double level 3 that would have been so perfect but you can't always get what you want so I just uh, I'll settle for this for now and yeah I didn't actually need the melon in the back but you can see just the actual damage output and finishes off with the 9 damage from the level 2 octo in the back. And just a beautiful win. One of the strongest advantages of pack 2 or custom packs and just overall crazy damage output. You can see we're beating a lot of 50-50 teams. It's a fun build. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.